Hey guys, this is Catherine with Oracle Intuitions. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. This is your weekly energy reading for June 14th to the 21st. So we're taking a look into the energies of the mind, body and spirit as well as relationships with a closing message from the universe. But remember that time is irrelevant in the spirit world. So these could be energies of things that could possibly, you know, be coming. They could be current energies or they could be a validation from spirit of something that you've just recently went through. I wanted to get back into where I'm doing the Monday to Thursday readings with a element for each day. So Mondays are going to be our earth signs, which is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Tuesdays are going to be our water signs with Scorpio, Pisces and Cancer. Wednesdays are going to be our air signs with Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And Thursdays are our are, are, are fire signs with Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Uh, now, if you're seeking a personal reading, please contact me at oracleintuitions.com or you can go to my Facebook page at Oracle Intuitions or my Instagram page at Oracle underscore uh, Intuitions. Also, make sure that you subscribe and click like on this video. If you subscribe, uh, we actually do free weekly readings on my channel on Wednesdays. So these are for our subscribers. Now we do go by donation uh, as well, okay? So usually the donations, people that have donated, we do you know, look into their reading first, but we also have a lottery for our subscribers. And this is where you can submit a question and my co-host and I, we answer it on the air. So this is a live, you know, uh, this is a live mini reading. Also on Sunday, and this is, sorry, I should tell you, six o'clock mountain time is when we do the live mini readings, all right? But on Sundays, we also do a live interview show with special guests that have a spiritual element. So these could be psychics, tarot readers, paranormal investigators, anybody that has a spiritual connection. And these are at two o'clock on Sundays. So make sure that again, click subscribe, click like, share the video if this has resonated with you. We look forward to seeing you, you know, throughout the week and also, um, you know, on our live shows. So today for this particular reading, we're going to be using the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. This is by Colette Baron reed We're also going to be using the Oracle of uh, Oracle of the Seven Energies, again by Colette Baron reed We're going to be using the Wisdom Angel Tarot by Radley Valentine. And we're going to be using the Fortune Reading Cards. Unfortunately, I do not know who created them. Um, Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing week. Take care. Leo, welcome to your weekly reading for June 14th to the 21st. This is going to be the energies for the mind, body, and spirit, as well as relationships with a closing message from the universe. Please remember that these are general readings, so they may not resonate with everyone, but I do suggest you check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for the week ahead as well. Also, remember that time in the spiritual realm really has no meaning. So, these could be upcoming energies, they may be current energies, or they may be a validation from spirit in regards to some sort of past energy, all right? So let's take a look and see what it, they have to say for spirit, for Leo at this time. In the mind, we have the Queen of Swords. So brilliant, experienced, humorous, judgmental, releasing situations or people that no longer serve you, mm -hmm. seeing the humor in a diff difficult situation, focusing on career or divorced or unmarried individual. So it really feels as though this is a time for individuality, okay? And this might be within your mindset. You may be focused on bettering yourself in some sort of way. Also with that Queen of Swords, it really talks about bettering yourself in a way um, by releasing things that are no longer necessary. So if you're hanging on or if you were hanging on to some sort of mindset or a particular way of looking at things or other people have been placing, you know, judgment upon you in some manner, this might be the time that you're really working on releasing those energies. So let's look into the body. We have, look at this, the Queen of Cups. Loving, compassionate, psychic, self-sacrificing, deep psychic insights, caring for others, but forgetting to take care of yourself. Trust your intuition, a deep love of family and friends and follow your heart. So within your external circumstances, you may be putting a lot of energy towards, you know, possibly friends, family, 
the Queen of Cups, she's very nurturing. She has a lot of um, loving energy. And, and, you know, for some of you, maybe you're taking care of family or maybe, you know, you're taking care of situation. But it's also, I feel like this is that reminder from Spirit to also take care of yourself. We have two of these queens coming in, you know, with that Queen of Swords and that Queen of Cups. So it's very opposing energies in some way. All right. The Queen of Cups is very nourishing. She brings in the energy where the Queen of Swords, she can cut that energy. So within the mind, if you might be overwhelmed or maybe you're feeling like, you know, it's time to release some things, but maybe you're finding it more difficult in the actual physical realm to actually do those releasing. Maybe people are asking too much of you, or maybe you're just, you know, feeling that you're obligated to do something at this moment. So it may be asking you to also just remember to take care of you. Okay. Especially if you're in a place where you can't release some sort of um, responsibilities or obligations at this moment, but it's also, you know, take care of you, do the things that you enjoy that are needed for you. And from spirit, we have the star, beautiful energy, have faith in the future, have faith. The future is bright dreams come true, positive changes that bring an end to challenging times, the light at the end of a tunnel. So remember that all of this work that you are doing at this time, whether again, it's for others or responsibilities or obligations, there is going to be a light at the tunnel, especially by also taking care of you by cutting unnecessary cords or attachments that are no longer necessary. Um, sometimes we get into this place where we just continue to take on obligations. But what we don't do is, you know, we, and then, and then people will come towards us with other obligations. It's like they see you do all of this work and they may have this mindset. And again, this isn't going to resonate with everybody, but you know, this is just an example. They see that you're, you know, a able and capable of working many different projects, or they see that you're, um, have this amazing sense of organization. And so they say, Hey, can you take on this project as well? Especially within career, right? Or sometimes within family. Hey, we see that you were just able to do this and that and the other thing. I feel like this queen of swords is saying within your mind, it's like, you know, that you have to release some of these obligations. You know that you have to let go of something because it's just becoming too overwhelming or just to, um, it's not becoming fulfilling for you anymore. All right. Start doing the things that are going to be fulfilling for you at this time. And with that start saying, once you start releasing these things, have the faith that things are going to have a change. All right. Have faith in the future that your dreams are going to come true. There is going to be a light at the tunnel after all of this. So let's get some uh, clarification and see what is coming in. Clarification for Leo. Clarification for Leo. First card coming in. The wise woman of wonderland integrity and compromise again very much queen of swords energy right the queen of swords has a lot of integrity but she also knows how to compromise she doesn't take on things that she can't take on she doesn't say yes to obligations that she knows that she can't fulfill she compromises she may look at it at, at, at something and say look at i will take on this part of that project but i am leaving this all right. But she has that wise integrity as well. She lets go of things, <clears throat> excuse me, that don't resonate with her. Things that are lacking that integrity. All right. The queen of swords is very much, maybe it's time for you to speak up in regards to something. The queen of swords is very much a, an energy of, she doesn't put up with any crap. All right. She takes that sword. She always reminds me of uh, the queen and Alice in Wonderland, like off with their heads. I don't like what you said. I'm just going to cut up that energy. I'm not going to put up with your bowl. I'm not going to put up with, you know, crap that you're coming out with within your mouth. Like it's just, I have too much integrity to tolerate your nonsense. We also have the web weaver 
uh, synchronicity, divine intelligence, cause and effort. So, you know, it's funny because this feels very much like that Queen of Cups energy. All right. So again, Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups coming through. Um, this, this really talks about also knowing what to take on and what not to take on. All right. We have that in divine intelligence. I really feel like this person is tapped into their psychic senses. They're tapped into their own intuition. And it's time to follow that intuition also at this moment, but cut out the things that your intuition isn't resonating with at this moment. And we have the well watcher wisdom and power of the divine so i feel like you're being very divinely guided i feel like if there are obligations that have been brought to you in regards to um uh, something that you need to do possibly maybe this is for family maybe this is something that you know um it, it feels like a bit of a challenge for you but it's brought to you by the divine there may be a reason for it and it may be for higher higher learning in some way shape or form but again that doesn't mean me that bleh, can't speak that doesn't mean that you need to take on obligations or responsibilities that are not truly yours all right don't allow somebody's lack of integrity to compromise you or to compromise your own wisdom your own intelligence your own divine being at this moment all right, so let's take a look at relationships and see what is coming in. Remember that relationships do not need to be uh, romantic. They can be friends, family, and co-workers. They may even be a relationship with yourself. So just take it as it resonates. And let's see what Spirit has to say in regards to it. Relationships for Leo. fire. Let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present. Absolutely. Again, going back into that queen of swords energy, right? Time to release. It's time to embrace your own passion. Start taking care of yourself, doing the healing that is necessary for you. We also have the moon. It says, pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. So if this has to do with a relationship in some sort, it really feels like if somebody's trying to bring drama to a situation, or maybe perhaps um, you're not seeing movement within a situation in some way, whether this has to do with somebody else or whether, you know, this has to do, I feel like for some, this could have to do with like a third party in some way. Um, but it's time to release, release what isn't serving you at this time. This even again could have to do with the mindset. Pay attention to your intuition. What is true and what is not true. All right. If you're seeing a lack of movement in some way towards a relationship or within a relationship, take a look at it with a true perspective. Okay. Don't, don't create situations. That Queen of Swords is very non-drama. She doesn't tolerate drama. She doesn't allow drama in any way. She stays within her integrity and she looks at a situation with honesty. And I feel like this is what is being told to you at this time as well. So are you looking at a situation with this sense of uh, trying to create something that's not there in a sense of drama? Like let's say somebody didn't call you right away. All right, let's say you're waiting for a phone call or you're waiting for a message to come through. Are you in this place of saying, well, they must not like me. Uh, I'm never going to hear from them again. Poor woe is me. Or are you looking at it with, you know, honesty and saying, you know what, maybe they just got busy. You know, I'll give them another day or two. We'll see what's going on then. All right. If I still am not getting a response, that's where that Queen of Swords comes in and says, I am not going to, you know, in uh, compromise my integrity I expect honesty within a situation and but there has to be a good balance between the two and we also have the owl and it says there are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition so 
I again I feel like really looking at things with an honest viewpoint rather than you know trying to create a drama or trying to allow a drama in some way don't allow your integrity to be compromised don't allow yourself to get caught into you know a cycle of some sort where you're not seeing the truth behind a situation all right the queen of cups can be a bit of a, a drama queen all right that you know if, if you were to you know ask which of the queens is the drama queen it would be that queen of cups right because she can get really caught up into you know the the emotional experiences of something rather than you know truly following her intuition so that that's something that you also may want to you know think about maybe that's happening maybe this externally things are happening on a more dramatic level but your intuition and your mental um, your mental state is saying, stay within that queen of swords. I don't need to take this to the extreme. Even if things appear to be, you know, a little bit drama filled or, you know, not happening the way that I want them to happen on an external, on an external plane or external manner, it's, I can just be calm. I'm going to stay calm throughout the situation and just, you know, let it unfold how it's supposed to unfold. I'm just going to take care of me at this particular time. So let's get some clarification and see what is coming in. I feel like for some of you, you may have put a bit of drama into the situation by overreacting towards something or not seeing the truth behind a situation, all right? So keep that in mind as you move forward as well. We are, okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I love the Knight of Pentacles. He's one of my favorite cards. So it really talks about loyal, dedicated, protective, apprehensive. Plan carefully before, before taking action, but then get going. Pay attention to the details. Wait for the perfect timing. A guardian angel or someone who watches over you. When that King of uh, Knight of Pentacles comes through, this is a slow and steady progress. So there may be... For some, again, it's not going to resonate with everyone. This could be talking about maybe you're putting drama towards a situation or something is appearing, you know, a bit um, over the top. But there needs to be things happening under the surface first. When that Knight of Pentacles comes through, it's steady, it's, it's progress. It may not be as fast of a progress as you wish it to be, but it is a progress. It is coming through. And it really does talk about that Knight of Pentacles. It is very much a card of knowing that your angels are surrounding you. Your spirit guides are with, with you and helping throughout the situation. But just have that faith. Make the plans that you need to, you know, to do. Let's say there's an event coming up and you haven't heard from, again, this is just an example. Um, maybe there's something that you want to do or an event coming up or something that you want to plan, but you're not hearing, you know, from a particular person or you're worried about finding a date or whatever it is. Make a plan to go to the event anyway. Just make the plan. And, and be in that mindset of realizing that if you're supposed to be with somebody, spirit will make it come to light. You don't need to, you know, put some sort of, um, you don't need to put an extra spin on it. You don't need to control the situation. Right now, just take care of yourself. Just think about, I'm just going to go and have fun at this thing. I'm just going to go and have fun. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry, you know, if somebody's going to be there with me. I'm not going to be worrying about the controlling of the situation. I'm staying with my own integrity. and I'm not allowing my integrity to be diminished because of someone else's behavior. We also have the King of Pentacles. So now we've got the Knight and the King. And it talks about compassion, uh, compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, grounding, a time of great success, financial security and prosperity, the Midas touch, everything turns out beautifully, a supportive parent or, sp or spouse, and a good person to work for. So for some of you, this could have to do with a, um, a work situation. But what I'm really getting here, I'm also getting that for some of you, um, you know, this could have to relate to a re an earth sign, all right? So maybe there's a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo that you're hoping that comes through or that you're, you know, there's a connection with on some, in some way. I feel like this is a confirmation towards that. Like just have the patience. Everything is working out. Everything will happen. 
all right? Stay within your own integrity. You don't need to bring drama to the situation. You don't need to overreact to the situation. Stay within your own um, wisdom. I'll know that spirit is guiding the situation and just let it fall into place. We also have the moon. Listen to your intuition and pay, just what I said, and pay attention to signs from the divine. Unnecessary worry. Let go of your fears. Revelations that will make everything clear. Beautiful, beautiful energy. We also had the moon here. So now we've got two moons, all right? I feel like there's things that are happening under the surface that you're not aware of at this point. This could have to do with the reason why you're not seeing perhaps a situation come to light. Maybe there's things, you know, in regards to a situation that you're unsure of. And it's really talking about pay attention to your intuition. Does something feel like it's out of place? Follow that intuition. But again, use integrity. All right. You don't need to overreact to a situation. You don't need to compromise yourself in any way towards a situation. Just allow or pay attention to your inner guidance at this time because it will be revealed. That's what I'm really getting from this. All will be revealed. It will be revealed as it's supposed to be revealed. All right. But just stay true to yourself at this moment take care of you so we're going to get a closing message from the universe i am using the um oracle of seven energies for your closing message now this is a deck that i have had sitting on my shelf for a while so i don't use it all that often so i may have to read from the book uh, to get a clearer message in regards to uh this closing card all right, so let's see what is coming through for leo Closing card for Leo. I feel like this. Shining through. Beautiful, beautiful energy. All right. And it's number 30. So just give me a second to find the page. All right. Shining through. Self-expression without filters or masks. Authentic communication, being proud of who you are. Shining in the world, refusing to make yourself small just to belong. Again, stay within your own integrity. You don't need drama. You're being called to step into your true power and essence. This is one of those times when you are required to bring everything you are, all that you have learned, experienced, and integrated, and offer it up to service to the world. When you take center stage, you will be noticed. Yes, you will shine brightly. You will naturally stand apart from others. This idea may bring up excitement and genuine pride or discomfort, but this is not the time to make yourself small to avoid the glare of the spotlights and potential punishment by others. It takes courage, but know that this is the right, right thing for you today. You have come so far, you've been in the proverbial back of the room and learning and gathering mode for so long, and this important time has served its justice. You must now step into a new consciousness, seizing a new opportunity to share your wisdom. You will be like a lighthouse, shining through in the dark, illuminating the way for others. Be careful of the voices in your head that say you can't or don't, or you don't know enough, or who are you to shine? The better question is, who are you not to shine? All you are and all you have become is the grace by the divine. Now is your duty to share your gifts. Celebrate this. So I do feel that for some of you, um, what the book has to say is, is it may be related to the reading. It may be a separate thing for you to remember and have that awareness of. But what I'm also feeling here too is again, you don't need to... You don't need to compromise yourself. You don't need to make yourself smaller, whether by bringing drama to a situation or by decreasing your own integrity or your own um, self-will in some way. Just let things happen the way that they are supposed to happen. Follow that intuition. That is going to be what really um guides you through this process it is going to bring you to that next step of some sort of abundance and don't forget to take care of yourself as you're doing this as well so i really hope that this has helped leo please make sure you click subscribe please click like 
and please share the video if you feel called to do so. Also, don't forget to watch our live show on Wednesdays at 6 o'clock p.m. where we do live mini readings as well as on Sundays where we bring on a um, where we do live interviews with different spiritual guests. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing week and many blessings.